Miss America, a beauty pageant with deep roots in the United States, has been ingrained in the country's culture for nearly a century. Launched in the 1920s, this competition has played a significant role in recognizing the achievements and charisma of young women from all regions of the country. In Atlantic City, on September 6, 1922, Margaret Gorman made history by being crowned as the first Miss America of 1922, marking the beginning of this prestigious beauty pageant. On that memorable day, she paraded in an American costume, setting a significant milestone in the history of Miss America. During the 1940s, the winners of Miss America, including Barbara Jo Walker, who clinched the title in 1947, and Frances Burke, who was crowned Miss America in 1940, spared no effort in showcasing their elegance. Besides the crowns, these young women gracefully wore sashes and were honored with scepters and trophies as part of their well-deserved recognition. In the first Miss America pageant, held in September 1921, a group of elegant young women competing in the event lined up before the judges along the Atlantic City boardwalk. This moment marked a significant milestone in the history of the beauty pageant. In 1923, Mary Catherine Campbell, that year's Miss America, was spotted taking part in the Atlantic City wheelchair parade. She was seated on a throne, holding her sparkling crown and waving to the enthusiastic crowd. In the 1923 edition of the competition, Mary Catherine Campbell secured the title of Miss America for the second consecutive time. The image captures Campbell in the center, flanked from left to right by the pageant director, Mr. Nickel, the iconic King Neptune, and the pioneering Miss America, Margaret Gorman, all gathered in the beautiful city of Atlantic City. In the early days of Miss America, an unforgettable scene unfolded as part of the pageant's iconic tradition. King Neptune, a legendary figure, raised his gleaming crown and elegantly placed it on the head of Ruth Malcolmson, the representative of Miss Philadelphia, proclaiming her Miss America in the year 1924. Marion Bergeron, a young prodigy at only 15 years old hailing from the state of Connecticut, achieved a remarkable feat when she was crowned Miss America in 1933. Her early and extraordinary rise in this national beauty competition catapulted her into the spotlight, where her charming charisma and striking youth shone brightly. In 1938, against the backdrop of the pageant, several contestants confidently showcased their swimsuits, each one focused on the pursuit of the coveted Miss America crown. The competition was brimming with energy, and the tension was palpable as all of them aspired to the title that celebrated not only beauty, but also elegance and charisma. Among all the contestants, Marilyn Buford, representing Miss California, positioned on the left in the image, emerged as the ultimate champion in 1946, surpassing all the other participants and clinching the title of Miss America. This was an unforgettable moment in her journey to success in the competition. In a symbolic act, Bess Meyerson, who had been crowned Miss America in 1945, gently transferred the crown to Marilyn Buford's head, who achieved the title of Miss America in 1946. The ceremony was a beautiful example of crown transition, carried out with grace and elegance. At the age of 18, hailing directly from Colorado, Sharon Ritchie achieved the remarkable feat of being crowned Miss America in 1956. Her victory not only celebrated her beauty and elegance, but also made her a trailblazer as the first Miss America to embark on a European tour sponsored by Philco International. This milestone in the history of the pageant further highlighted her in her young life. In a historic moment, Margaret Gorman, representing Washington, stood out in a memorable pose after her remarkable victory in the pioneering Miss America pageant. This iconic event took place in the emblematic coastal city of Atlantic City, New Jersey, during the month of September 1921. Gorman's achievement in this inaugural contest marked the starting point of a lasting tradition in the world of beauty pageants in the United States. Mary Catherine Campbell, a young girl of only 15 at the time, is depicted with extraordinary elegance, graciously holding the scepter, wearing the royal robe, and displaying the coveted crown after her impressive victory in the second Miss America pageant. This prestigious event took place in Atlantic City, New Jersey, during the month of September 1922. Hailing from Columbus, Ohio, Campbell achieved an even more remarkable feat by winning the title again in 1923, becoming the only competitor to win Miss America twice. In the iconic image, we see Norma Smallwood, the representative from Tulsa, Oklahoma, wearing an elegant swimsuit 
and posing alongside several trophies she won after her impressive victory in the 1926 Miss America pageant. This memorable event took place in Atlantic City, New Jersey, on September 11, 1926. Lois DeLander, hailing from Joliet, Illinois, is immortalized in a truly iconic moment, where she is seated majestically on a throne, adorned in an elegant robe, and gracefully holding a scepter. This unique moment occurred immediately after her coronation as Miss America in 1927. This remarkable celebration of beauty and elegance took place during the Miss America pageant. Henriette Lever, representing Miss Pittsburgh at the young age of 19, is captured in an image where she elegantly displays her crown and proudly holds her trophy after being crowned Miss America in 1935. This remarkable achievement took place on the stage of the Miss America pageant, set against the backdrop of the stunning Atlantic City. A photograph of Rose Veronica Coyle, who represented Philadelphia and held the title of Miss America in 1936, shows her in a swimsuit with a coastal backdrop, although the exact location remains unknown. This image offers us a glimpse of the winner in a moment of relaxation by the seaside. In the iconic photograph, Bette Cooper, who represented Miss Bertrand Island, New Jersey, is portrayed holding her trophy and elegantly draped in a royal robe after her coronation as Miss America in 1937. Cooper's achievement shines not only in her personal journey, but also enriches the history of the prestigious beauty pageant with her remarkable feat. Marilyn Masecki, who represented Marion, Ohio, reached the pinnacle of her journey by being crowned Miss America in 1938, a remarkable feat achieved during the annual National Beauty Contest held in Atlantic City on September 10, 1938. In the center of the image, Marilyn Masecki shines with the crown symbolizing her victory, an expression of her exceptional achievement at the age of 21. Patricia Donnelly, who previously held the title of Miss America in 1939 as the representative of Detroit, Michigan, had the honor of passing the crown to the young Frances Marie Burke, hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This significant event took place during the annual Miss America pageant, which was held in Atlantic City on September 7, 1940. Jean Bartel, who had the dual representation of Los Angeles and Miss California, achieved the title of Miss America in 1943. An iconic image captures her, posing elegantly alongside her trophy during the event held in Atlantic City, New Jersey, on September 11, 1943. Venus Ramey, the holder of the title of Miss America in 1944, was recorded reading congratulatory messages on the morning after her remarkable victory in Atlantic City on September 10, 1944. The Miss America crown was passed on to her by Jean Bartel, who had been the Miss America of the previous year, representing Los Angeles, as the 1943 winner. On September 4, 1945, a group of young hopefuls vying for the title of Miss America, 1,945 inches graced the Atlantic City boardwalk. From left to right, the contestants were as follows. Lee Wyland, representing Miss Chicago. Barbara Lee Smith, as Miss Detroit. Bess Meyerson, representing Miss New York. Phyllis Mathis, as Miss San Diego. Gloria Naomi Bear, representing Miss Philadelphia. Claire Thibodeau, as Miss Boston. Ray Evelyn Christ, representing Miss Florida. Frances Bourne, as Miss Birmingham. Yolande Betbeze, born in Mobile, Alabama, charmed everyone as she gracefully walked the runway after receiving the Miss America crown in 1951. This remarkable event took place in Atlantic City on September 9, 1950. Colleen K. Hutchins, a 25-year-old hailing from Salt Lake City, Utah, was captured in a photograph posing elegantly, displaying her trophy and wearing the royal robe shortly after being crowned Miss America in 1952. This memorable moment took place during the annual Miss America pageant held in Atlantic City. Six talented contestants graced the highly anticipated annual Miss America pageant, which began in Atlantic City, New Jersey on September 8, 1953. In order from left to right, the participants were Barbara Ann Crockett, representing North Carolina, Virginia McDavid, representing Alabama, Miriam Jacqueline Stevenson, representing South Carolina, Lucia Claire Hutchinson, representing Georgia, Marjorie Jeanette Simons, representing Florida, Suzanne Duggar, representing Mississippi, Georgia Theodora Hale, who competed as the representative of Miss Chicago, emerged as the winner in the first edition of the Miss Chicago pageant in 1922. It was a remarkable achievement in her journey. 
Margaret Lee, competing under the representation of Miss Chicago, achieved an impressive fourth place in the renowned Miss America beauty pageant held in Atlantic City in 1924. This competition is universally acclaimed as the most prestigious in the country. In the 1920s, specifically around 1925, Margarita Gonzalez, the title holder of Miss Chicago in 1925, took part in the prestigious national beauty contest held in Atlantic City that same year. Unfortunately, she did not advance beyond the initial stages and was eliminated from the competition. In the photograph, Margaret Knight, positioned on the right, is captured alongside two other young women during her participation in the 1926 Miss Chicago contest. On August 16, 1927, Estelle Kozloff, a young woman of only 20 years at that time, achieved the title of winner in the prestigious 1927 Miss Chicago Beauty Contest. However, her achievement was abruptly nullified after the contest organizers discovered that she had recently entered into matrimony, leading to her disqualification. I now present you an image of Ruth Malcolmson, crowned as Miss America in 1924. This video comes to its conclusion. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comments below.